With everything going on in the world, CNN thought it would be a good idea Sunday night to have Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders face each other in their first one-on-one -on -one debate. But because of the new social distancing policies, there was no audience, and the debate was held in CNN's studio. And this is how it literally began. What do you say to the American people who are confronting this new reality? First of all, my heart goes out to those <coughs> who have already lost someone or those who are suffering from the virus and uh... Okay, Joe, shouldn't you be in quarantine instead of on the debate stage? At least they're practicing social distancing. This is an actual clip of the debate, and that's really how far apart their podiums were. While it wasn't as entertaining as some of the previous debates, it still was quite a circus. But no, are they wrong on that, Bernie? Okay. Are they wrong on that, Bernie? Joe. Bernie, Joe, did you miss Joe, me? did you? Wait a minute. I'll answer your question. You answer mine. <laughs> I answered yours. No, you didn't. $15 an hour? $15 an hour. All New right. York City. Go talk to the governor. I will talk I to the governor. I'm not aware of that. All right. I am not aware well, of that. You should be aware. Of course, the moderators asked about the corona craziness, but poor old Joe doesn't even know what pandemic we're in the middle of. So we should already be sitting down and planning where we're going to put these temporary hospitals. And we can do that. We did that. We've been through this before with the coronavirus. We've been through this before. Um, excuse me. We've been through this before with uh, dealing with the viruses that the N1H15, as well as what happened in Africa. I'm sorry, Joe. I think you meant the H1N1, not the N1H15. But never Trumper Meghan McCain, one of the co-hosts of The View, tweeted out that this was Uncle Joe's best debate yet, adding that he was looking and speaking like a leader who rises to the occasion during this crisis and he can handle it. I responded to the tweet saying that he literally doesn't know which pandemic he's talking about and she immediately blocked me. As a consequence of this SARS, of this particular crisis. Thank you, Vice President. <clears throat> Even though Joe Biden showed up to this thing, apparently nobody told him that it was a debate. Some of which, Thank well, you, some Senator of whom are funding Biden. his campaign. Look, I, this is a national crisis. I don't want to get this into a back and forth in terms of our politics here. I'm sorry, old Joe, but that's what you do in a debate. You go back and forth and talk about your politics. At one point, Bernie called Joe on his bluff, causing him to respond with his trademark phrase, come on, give me a break. I think in the past, Joe, if I'm not mistaken, you condemned super PACs. Is that correct? You get rid of the nine super PACs you have? I don't have <laughs> nine super I don't have oh, any have super nine. PACs. You want me to list them? No. Yeah, you go ahead and list okay. them. Okay, come on. Give me a break. Come no, on. I will, won't give you a break on this one, Joe. You want me to name them? Yes. <laughs> oh, give me a break. The theme of the night was socialized medicine, which obviously Bernie was thrilled about because he can't wait to put the same government that runs the post office and the DMV in charge of the hospitals. If you thought it was a long wait in line to buy some stamps or mail a package, wait until you're stuck at the hospital for three days before they even take your temperature. Joe Biden also revealed what anyone with a brain already knew was coming. If I'm elected president, my, my cabinet, my administration will look like the country. And I commit that I will in fact appoint a, I'll pick a woman to be vice president. There are a number of women who are qualified to be president tomorrow. I would pick a woman to be my vice president. Well, congratulations, Cory Booker. That's quite an achievement. On a serious note, as the quarantine continues and more cities and states get locked down, I will do my best to keep you guys entertained and informed throughout the course of this pandemic for however long it'll take. But just heads up, as you may have noticed over the last few months, I haven't been posting videos consistently Monday through Friday. I've kind of been spreading them out random days throughout the week, and that will continue. And it doesn't have anything to do with the pandemic. It's just I've been busy and trying to get caught up on some other stuff. And maybe I'll start doing some more live streams periodically throughout the evening, and we can all hang out. And whatever happens over the next few months, we'll get through it. So if you don't have notifications checked, click the bell next to the subscribe button, and then select Get All Notifications. So you will be notified every time I post a new video and stay tuned and I will see you soon.